Matt Roth, thank you so much. My name is Gonzalo from Blue Radio Colombia. It's a pleasure. Good okay. Sunday. <laughs> Matt, I, I want to start the, the conversation talking about the, the music because the soundtrack of Stranger Things is, is, is very special. And explain us how is the creative process to choice the soundtrack. Obviously, there is a team that takes care about this topic, but why yeah. the Stranger Things, the soundtrack is so good? Are you talking about the original score or the or the the, 80s oh, the, the original score and the songs from the 80s too? Okay, everything, everything. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm so glad you brought it up. No one brings it. It was like, yeah, I love talking about the music. And, um, you know, I think it's so important to us because we're movie guys. And to me, all the best movies, all my favorite movies have iconic soundtracks. Music is integral to the experience. And we just wanted to bring that to television. And we wanted a very distinct score. Very early on, we decided we wanted that synth John Carpenter score. We had heard this band survive. They had, they had never scored anything before, but they were on the soundtrack for Adam Wingard, Wingard's The Guest. Yeah. We contacted, we, tr we actually put their music in a fake trailer, trailer that we were using to sell to Netflix. And it just worked awesome. And, and it was so cool to see their music, synth music and John Carpenter's music juxtaposed. Like we had it put it over images from scenes from E.T. And mm -hmm. it just gave E.T. this crazy texture. And it was fun. It was like, that's so much more interesting than trying to trying and failing to do John Williams, which is what ultimately yeah. would have happened if we had done orchestral. So anyway, and this year we, we do what we do best. We gave the guys, Kyle and Michael, they're brilliant. We gave them six months just to write based on the scripts, oh. just to jam. And so we had probably like, I don't know how many hours of material from oh, them, yeah. just riffing. Oh. Yeah. And you know, the synth. So sometimes you'll get a track that's like 20 minutes long, you know? And sometimes it's just like noise and you're like, I don't know what to do with this. And sometimes it's magnificent. It's so fun. We love that. And then in terms of the music, like we had, we knew the songs like this year, we knew that we, there was one song that was really, really important for the narrative, which was Kate Bush's Running Up That Hill. That was a, um, you know, a song we've always loved. And, you know, but we also have an amazing Nora music supervisor. We both pitched that song. She pitched that song. Ross and I had it at the yeah. top of our list. So we're like, okay, it's obviously meant to be. And Kate Bush has been like super cool because we have to keep going back to her asking to like, let her uh, put more of her, that song. Can we just play it one more time in the finale? <laughs> We were editing, just editing the finale and we were getting the sequence. It was really cool, but it was like, it's not all the way there yet. Let's just try running up that hill one more time. We can't go back to Kate Bush. Okay, whatever, let's just try it. It was so cool. And we're like, oh, Kate, will we please, hopefully she likes it. And thank God she loved it. So I know it's, it's a really fun process, you know, going back through the music, finding it. And it completely, depending on what music you're using, it completely shapes the tone of a scene, completely. Awesome. This season is the, is the pen is, is, is the penultimate season, and yeah. I hope to talk with you again. But <laughs> if I don't, I want to know what the Stranger Things gave to the pop culture, what Stranger Things give to the television, to the world, to the entertainment. I, well, it's it's hard to say. I mean, I do feel like we are our show is sort of part of a uh, like a like a lot of like there's a wave in television has changed mm -hmm. and we saw very early on we were we're film guys you know as evident in the show we love movies and that's what we were trying to do with our lives and, and we and that's what we were focused on but then we started to see i think it was steven soderbergh's work on the nick which is an amazing television show and we saw that and we said it's just so cinematic And it's so unlike any, any TV I've ever seen. Like he was starting to push TV in directions I hadn't seen before. And I remember we saw the, ad, you know, advertisements for True Detective was coming out and what Kerry Fukunaga did. And it had these movie stars and it just felt like something was changing. And so we, Matt and I talking like, we want to be part of that change. So I just think, you know, to, to be part of something that's changing uh in the in, in television as a, as a form has changed so much in the last you know seven years yes. and so we're just excited to be part of that where you can tell basically what we're doing is a long form movie where 
you're you're you can you can spend time with characters and get to know them but you can also have spectacle you know game of thrones obviously did that extraordinarily well and so just to be a part of that conversation uh is is really really exciting matt ross thank you so much for your time guys congratulations for this season and i hope to talk with you later or next year oh yeah, yeah i'd love, love to, to. Love thank, to you, so thank you so much thank you so much man